News 46, local coverage you can count on. Day 2011, and as we do here every November 11th, we have our Veterans Day ceremony here at the VFW. We're going to let you see some of that right now. We believe our strength on the field of battle, on the supply lines which nourish our armed <coughs> might lay in the justice of our cause against the forces of evil. We believe that our determination made us better warriors because we fought with our minds and our hearts, as well as our bodies, and continue, continue to do so today. We recognize that service to our country and her cause does not end with the term, termination of military service. We continue our endeavors in behalf of an honorable world peace with a feeling of profound gratitude to God and to the men and women who gave their lives as their part of the cost of the noblest of causes. Our blood and sweat we learned of purpose and sacrifice, tolerance, bravery, and discipline. These are solid foundation stones which a great nation is built. In our continuing quest for an honorable world peace, we must cultivate these virtues. The wagings of a war involves more than just the combatants who fight to the death on the field of battle. The fighting forces begin at the fireside and in the hometowns. The repercussions of the war's terrible brutality have chilled the heart and dimmed the hopes and dreams of many a loved one left behind on the home front. While the horrors of the battlefield may not have been our experience, we have lived with the terrifying loneliness created to answer an aggression's, aggressor's challenge, and this continues even as I speak. In waging war, we have moved forward with a unity of purpose which made us strong, forgetting pettiness, egotism, and pride. Our hearts beat in tune with those in other nations fighting for freedom and dignity and opportunity of mankind. In our constant quest for a honorable world peace, there is need for unity of purpose if we truly are to move forward toward a brighter tomorrow. If there be glory in war, it is almost incredible spirit which it engenders. Men and women offer their lives, sacrifice their all with magnificent abandon. Heroism becomes contagious, yet too in warfare, greed and brutality are epidemic. Too often it is these latter which persist in the peace that follows. Let us strive to see that the same spirit of self-sacrifice is cultivated in peace as has been exhibited in war. It behooves us to rear new standards of success to inspire youth in peace as youth was inspired in war. Public honor must be given where public is due, not to the manipulator of a market, the seeker after profit, power, or position, but rather let us honor the heroes of science who alleviate human suffering and carrying to greater heights the standards of civilization. There is greater discipline we must now pursue if we are to preserve this virtue of obedience in our quest for an honorable world peace. We are veterans, and the veterans are the ones that go and fight for the country and come back home. When you come back home, you have another job to do, and that job is to help your fellow veterans. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Outstanding, outstanding. Um, I wasn't uh, um, on the menu today to, to be a presenter, but I never uh, missed the opportunity to talk about the kids in Knight County School District. Uh, this past week, I sent a, a, an email out to all the principals to ask them to uh, ensure that their teachers worked into their class curriculum this week, uh, um, patriotism, some stories about veterans, about the sacrifices they've made. Twenty percent of our population here in the Pahrump Valley are veterans. One in five of every person you see 
at the post office, at the restaurant, walking down the street has served their country to keep us safe so we would not have to worry about planes flying overhead and bombs coming out, although we do have planes that uh, train here from the Air Force, but at least they're not dropping bombs on us. But I hadn't planned to speak either this morning, but I was honored to ask to speak, and I'm honored to live in the greatest country in the history of the world. And we have the greatest military, I believe, in the history of the world. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last week. To me, the veterans' uh, service was uh, to commemorate all the veterans uh, in America here. Um, for me personally, Veterans Day is every day. Um, today to me is mostly about the people that aren't veterans to come and see what we're all about, to see what veterans are about, and, and uh, not just to have a day off, but to use it as a Veterans Day. I know we had a lot of different speakers today and some dignitaries as well. Yes, we did. We had a, a great uh, group of people today. We had our commissioners today and uh, all the representatives from all the military organizations, which was a real good thing. One of the different speakers that we had was Superintendent Dr. Rob Roberts from Nye County School District. Yeah, uh, Dr. Roberts is uh, a veteran himself. He's a member here at uh, uh, BFW, and uh, it was a great honor to have him here. We would like to thank all the veterans and all the who served, who are serving, and the lives that we lost, and honor those so much here on Veterans Day. This is Deanna O'Donnell at the BFW for News 46. Are you tired of overpaying for everyday items? Then visit us at Dollar Plus. Check out our prices compared to a leading national department store. The savings are tremendous. Save money today and shop at Dollar Plus in the Albertsons Shopping Plaza.